have we been successful? Yes, we have. Welcome back to my Lotus Exige. I bought the car last year in the winter and the weather was pretty dreary, um, pretty typical English weather. Wet, cold, damp, dark. Not the best time to be buying, driving and owning a Lotus on pretty much slick tires. I mean, these tires are certainly designed for the track. Um, it is now approaching summer. I mean, it probably is summer. It's just in the UK, that's never quite clear. Um, the weather is mixed, but the sun is in and out today. Um, and it would be nice to have a convertible. I've never owned a convertible before. And actually when buying this car, one of the considerations was do I want to be able to take the roof off or not? And clearly on the Lotus Elise, it's got a soft top, easily rolled up, put in the boot, drive off. The Exige, however, is a fixed hard top. Um, now I obviously landed on the Exige side of that equation. I particularly like the look of the Exige and I was willing to sacrifice the soft top um, for that look. However, since owning the Exige, I've found out that you can actually take the roof off. Now, I don't know if this is common knowledge. Um, it may well be amongst Exige owners. In fact, I'm sure it is. But amongst those who don't own an Exige, you may not know you can actually take the roof off. So you can have the benefits of the Elise, as in you can have open top motoring, and you can also have what I believe to be the benefit of an Exige, which is that look. So today, while the sun is kind of out, I am going to show you how to get the roof off. I'm gonna time it to see how long it actually takes to get the roof off and then go for a little drive. So to take the roof off, you actually only need one tool. They've made it fairly easy. You need a Torx and it needs to be a T40 Torx piece and that will get off the three bolts, which you can't see um, in the headliner here. I don't know why I'm saying here you can't see, but they're they're just across the front, um, just behind the sun visors. There are two bolts here, and then there's one here over my right shoulder, and there's one in the corner there. Um, with those bolts out, you can then just lift the roof off. Um, so yeah, let's get those bolts out. Let's time it and let's see how long it takes to get the roof off a Lotus Exige. Right then, here we go. Start. The clock is ticking. Let's see how long it takes. <laughs> Panel number one is off. In fact, I've forgotten, there's two more bolts that need removing and they are underneath that panel I just removed. They are in the corner and they are the ones that actually hold the roof down. That panel is just covering these bolts. There's one. One benefit of the car being so small is that you can just reach across and do the other side. You have got to be a bit of a contortionist to own a Lotus and to work on it. Certainly helps to be a little bit slight and quite flexible. This panel in the corner, you can just pull off, it's held on with some Mm, I guess you'd call it Velcro. Oh dear, there's one screw gone.
stop. Right then, that should be it. Four minutes, 34. So it's less than five minutes. Have we been successful? Yes, we have. So it's as simple as that to get the roof off. Now, Lotus have thought about what you should do when you get the roof off. Now clearly with the Elise, you can fold it up and you can put it in the boot. With the Exige, they thought about it and they decided that you should carry it home and put it in your garage. So there's no smart solution, I'm afraid. You have to literally lift it off your car, take these panels with you and stick it in your house. So that is what I will do now. Um, yeah, not the slickest solution, but storage space in this car is already at a premium. So the chances that you could stuff a hard top somewhere are pretty unlikely. So I'll get these panels back to my flat. I'll get the roof back in my flat and then we'll go for a drive. <laughs> Typical UK fashion with the roof off, the weather is now well and truly grey. Um, but we will persevere. We're actually going to try and run some errands. So we're going to head up the road and collect a suitcase, which isn't really what the Exige is designed for. We'll see if we can get it in the boot, otherwise, we'll just have an uncomfortable trip home. So let's get going. Having scrambled to get home and put the roof on, the sun is now typically blazing and the rain has stopped. Typical UK weather, this is what we battle with. But while the roof 
is back on. I haven't quite put all the trims back on. There's something else that I thought was worth pointing out at this stage. So I'm going to just turn the camera around. You can see here and here there are actually fixings for the roof rails for a soft top and the same is true behind my head so here and here so actually you can not only take the hard top off an exige you can also fit a soft top looks a little bit funny with the roof scoop um, around here because clearly the soft top doesn't have a roof scoop on it but it still functions um, so you can fit a soft top to an exige and you can take the hard top off an exige so you can get that wind in your hair motoring um, and you can also have that fast back look to the car hopefully you found today's video interesting hopefully you've enjoyed it I have enjoyed it while the weather was quite good um, until I started getting rained on if you want to see more content like this hit that subscribe button please hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video it really does mean a lot and I'll see you back here soon.